Hey, Pastor Jason, are you ready to have your mind blown again? So I have this piece of paper. Give me a thumbs up if you think that this loop will fit over my head. Um, it's probably impossible, it's too small. But wait, I'm going to make a loop that will go over my head. You ready? So I'm going to, I'm not going to cut, I'm, you know, cut the loop. I'm just going to cut down the middle. I don't know if you guys can see, I'm going to cut down the middle of the loop all the way around. And ta-da! I didn't cut the loop and now it fits over my head. <laughs> Some of you had faith that I could do this and some of you weren't so sure. It wasn't an impossible thing after all. That was a pretty simple trick, but there are a lot of impossible things in this world that aren't just tricks. There are things you, can't, you and I can't do, but there is someone who can do the impossible. Say it with me, Jesus has awesome power. Jesus could do impossible things. Many people followed him to see what kind of incredible things he might do next. Other people followed Jesus because they really believed in him. They wanted to learn more about God and his kingdom that Jesus talked about. At the end of the day, um, of one day, Jesus was teaching thousands of people and doing amazing miracles. Jesus told the disciples to get into a boat and cross the Sea of Galilee. The Bible says Jesus went up on the mountain by himself to pray. After a long day of teaching and helping people, Jesus spent time praying and talking with God, his Father, and because Jesus knew that his strength came from spending time with God. Meanwhile, the disciples were in the boat and suddenly a terrible storm came up. The wind whipped up the waves and the boat was tossed back and forth. The disciples tried to keep control of the boat, but they were so frightened and very tired. Suddenly, the disciples saw something, or rather someone walking on top of the water. They yelled, it's a ghost! But really, it was the Lord Jesus. Jesus was walking out to them on top of the water. Jesus saw that his disciples were afraid, so he called out to them, don't be afraid, it is I. Jesus is the all-powerful God who can do the impossible. Imagine if you were to try to walk on the water, I would probably sink right through. Peter looked out over the waves at Jesus. He said to Jesus, Lord, if it's truly you, tell me to come to you out on the water. Peter is so brave and curious for wanting to climb out of the boat and walk on the water to Jesus. He definitely wanted to follow Jesus. Now, what do you think Jesus said? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs up for no. Jesus said to Peter, come. Peter got out of the boat. He took one step, then another, then another. He was walking on water toward Jesus. Peter trusted Jesus and had faith to help him do the impossible. And Jesus gave Peter the ability to do so because he is the all-powerful God. But suddenly, Peter stopped looking at Jesus for a split second. He started to look all at what's going on around him. The wind was really strong, the waves were huge, and Peter probably felt scared. It only took one second. As soon as Peter took his eyes off of Jesus, he felt scared and started to sink into the water, into the sea. So Peter called out desperately, Lord, save me. Jesus took Peter's hand and pulled him up. Jesus wanted Peter and the other disciples to know that they could trust him and not be afraid. Then something even more amazing happened. The wind stopped completely and everything was calm. The terrible storm changed to completely calm as soon as Jesus stepped into the boat. Wow, Jesus has amazing power. After the storm was over, the Bible says Peter and the disciples began to worship Jesus. That means they began to praise him for who he is and what he did. Truly, you are the son of God. That's what they said. The disciples made it safely to shore and Jesus began to show the disciples who he is, the all-powerful son of God.